Hi, this is Brian Roman with Backpack Tactics. Today I want to address the issue of trying to get all of your email to flow into one single email account so as to have everything in one place. We've discussed in another training video how to do that with Microsoft Outlook, get everything to flow into Outlook. Now I want to talk about how to get everything to flow into Gmail. So first we would go to Settings and then we go to accounts and import one of the options down here is check mail using pop3 and this is just an email communication um, protocol that pulls email in from other servers so this would work with a number of different work accounts or school accounts things like that you can just click on the button add pop3 email account and it's going to ask you what your email address is. So you simply uh, put that in. I'll put in a school one in this case. Click on next. And so it has your username there. It kind of automatically detects a bunch of information about your account. It's got my username. It's my password, of course. And then the next item is the pop server address. This is the tricky one because you're not necessarily going to know either the pop server address or the port number. It's usually 110, but it could be different. And Gmail will always have a guess for you. Um, this is its guess, but it happens to be wrong <laughs> in this case. So you're going to have to watch out for that. Um, I happen to know it, but I happen to know the correct one, but you may have to contact your system administrator to get this information. And then it has a couple options down here. Uh, leave a copy of the message on the server, so that that way um, you're not you're not pulling email away from your other account. You're simply copying it from your other account. Uh, I'll leave that one unchecked. Always use a secure connection (SSL). This basically encrypts your connection for when you're retrieving mail. I recommend turning that on uh, if you can. Uh, label the incoming messages <clears throat> this one this option is really nice because it allows you to keep your mail organized as it flows in uh, some people may want to think oh I don't want I don't want certain kinds of mail like you know my work mail from uh, this job to get mixed in with some of my other personal email or, or whatever but if you label them as they come in then they stay distinct so I'm gonna leave that label on there and the last option is just to skip the inbox when the messages come in well I don't I do want my messages to be in the inbox so I'm not gonna skip that and you just click on add account now if you see this error message one possible problem that uh, might be going on for you is this SSL business this is the preferred method if you can sometimes you can't and you have to uncheck it so I'm gonna uncheck that and then try again and see if it's just the SSL that it didn't like click on add account and there we go so that was the problem now the next step is it asks me uh, would you like to be able to send mail as this person too. Would you, would, do I want to send mail from that account? In most cases, probably you want to say yes. You want to be able to retrieve from that account and send from that account as well. So that when someone gets an email message from you, it says that it's from that email account. Click on next step and it'll say, it'll ask me what name I want to attach to this email account. You know, maybe, maybe you have a uh, you know, an email account where you want your name to be slightly different you know maybe you have a, uh, a more f you want a more formal name for certain email accounts and a less formal name for other email accounts so this is where you can change that uh, I'm just gonna leave it as it is backpack tactics for now okay, next step now it's asking me uh, how it should send mail and it specifically, it's asked me, which server do I want to use to send mail from this address? The easiest thing to do is just to send it through Gmail. 
um, there won't be any hiccups with that. The only issue is if someone's looking really closely, uh, they'll be able to tell that you sent that mail through Gmail as opposed to f directly from this account. Um, I, I suppose it is also possible that uh, your mail message could get blocked possibly or filtered in some way because it's not technically uh, from that account because it didn't come from their mail servers. So uh, this is the sending it through Gmail is the easiest one, but if you want to make it seem completely like you're, you're really sending it from that account, then what you can do is click on the second option and add these things down here. Now you're going to run into the same issue that we discussed before where you, where you actually need this server address and you're going to have to contact your email administrator to get that information as well as the port number. Uh, your username and password should be the same though. So I'm just going to do the easy one for now. Send through Gmail, click on next step. Here it says, okay, you want to send from this email account but first we have to make sure that you actually own that email account. Well, I've already given it the password, but it just wants to be extra sure. So I'll click on Send Verification. And what that'll do is it'll give me uh, an email in my email account. This is kind of the, the native view of my email account. And I'm just going to click Refresh. And that you'll see an email that shows up in your email account that will have a code in it. And... There's, there's my email from the Gmail team. And, okay, here it says, your confirmation code is this. So I'm just going to copy that number and put it here. Click Verify. And, as you can see, it pops into this view. Again, I'm in Settings and then Account and Import you can see this under send mail as. I can send mail as either of these two now. And down here it's got the address for my new email account. Alright, so if we go to Gmail refresh it here <coughs> and we'll see some emails start to flow in. Uh, sometimes it takes a little while. Uh, here I have my new label might want to give that a little bit of color. <clears throat> and you'll see this, this label um, show up on the emails that come in. And it may take a little while for it to show up because pop mail is kind of a, a, slow, uh, a slower method. But one thing that you can do is you can prompt it by going into accounts and import. And then click, you know, check, check mail now. Say so checking mail, and it'll bring in bring in some mail for you. See, I've got one here already. It's pulled in one, but it'll pull in more as time goes on. See, there's there's one right at the top. The final issue that I wanted to address here is you, you're supposed to be able to send as that person, but how do you do that? Well. When you click on Compose Mail, you'll see that the From field now has options. I can send it as my default account, or I can send it from my new account that I put in. And I just make my message as normal, but simply change the From address, and it'll show up as if I sent it from that address. So that's how you funnel external email accounts into Gmail. This is Brian Roman with the Backpack Tactics. Thanks for listening.